And wouldn't it be strange if there's two of me? A very warm welcome to the show with all three of us. Are you confused? Well, I most certainly am. Let's do it. In this video, I have made a lot of mistakes and you can see them at the very end, if you want to. With a cup of coffee, let's begin. A very warm welcome, Saturday the 9th of October, in the office, not going outside after all the ants bit me to death, but I am producing another video today related to the Free Gorded Dam. And hello to all the new subscribers and all the new members as well. Thank you so much for supporting the channel. And got lots of things to get through for today. But first of all, let's have a look at the wonderful weather around central China. Okay. All right, take two. Take two, take two. Let's have a look at the weather for today. And the found by the three gorges approximately near Yingchang. And there is a pitter patter of rain. Weather fronts seem to be coming from all parts, from the southwest, coming to the southeast, to the northeast, to the southwest. So quite a complex time. You could say possibly this is the changing of the seasons, but I'm not a weatherman or anything of the sort. And really don't know and neither of my twins or either of my twins know as well but let's leave, keep the weather on and we do have some weather reports which we did cover yesterday in Shanxi province that's in the north very close to Beijing now the levels of the three gorges have gone up even further now as of this morning on the 9th of October 2021, the Saturday, 170.62. And if you look at the top of the information sheet there, Kutan is down at 175.64. If you go to any kind of streaming website, you can see, well, again, as of this morning, that the gates are not open which is sort of like maybe worrying, don't know. This is an article I found and I found very interesting, the causes of dam failures. And let's have a read of this. The first one is called overspill, caused by water spilling over the top of the dam. Overtopping of a dam is often a pre precursor of a dam failure. National statistics show that overtopping due to inadequate spillway design, debris blockage in spillways or sediment or dam crest account for approximately 34 of all US dam failures. Now, let me just go back into the camera. Hi, this is an American website. It's not referring directly to China and the information stats are coming from the United States. So with that, we're just getting a general idea and that's the point. But the crazy thing is it, it all makes sense related to the dams of China and it all makes sense to the free gorges as well. Number two, foundation defects, including sediment and slope instability caused by 30% of all dam failures. Number three, cracking caused by movements like natural settling of the dam. Next one, we really don't know with this one with the three gorges, but inadequate maintenance and upkeep. And number five, piping is when seepage through a dam is not properly filtered 
soil particles continue to progress through the sinkholes in the dam. I don't have the animation below. Another 20% of US dam failures have caused by piping internal royal erosion caused by seepage. Seepage often occurs around hydraulic structures such as pipes and spillways through animal burrows around the roots and woody vegetation through the cracks of the dam, apertures and dam foundations. Wow. I think all five of those, in my own opinion, with let's say 15 months of covering the Free Gorges Dam, have all of them. We have seen the cracks, we have seen not inside, but we can see, we've seen the trash and the garbage last year at the entrance to the actual dam on the dam reservoir side. And we've seen not necessarily a overtopping. Do they call it overtopping? We have, but there have been unconfirmed reports of an overspill, especially last year. I think it was August, but we're not going to go into that for today. Okay, what's happening in the rest of China related to floods and landslides? I did cover a little bit yesterday. The Yellow River is the second longest river in China, and this has, even though it's October, the floods are still there, and you can see some images of that. This relates to all the landslides that you seen yesterday, and the bridge of the, or the train bridge, and that a train, a cargo train, is it a cargo train? A, whatever, you know what I mean, um, had to stop in its tracks before this, collapse happen. Again, you can see the pictures on yesterday's videos and you can see some here. Uh, towns have been flooded in Shanxi province and now you could say close to the middle of October it's meant to all be over but it's still happening. Worrying? Absolutely. Uh, what does the CCP do? Does all the positive propaganda saying helping people which is good but very little prevention. Isn't it that saying? Prevention is the best cure. Mm. Talking about that, I'm going to leave a link in the description below if I can remember, because a American guy called Lao Wai 86, or Matt, his real name is, or Matthew, um, did an outstanding video related to China. Can't talk what it is, but do have a look at his channel below. And if you do know Matt, tell him to get all his subscribers to come to my channel because he's got over like half a million. That would be absolutely epic. Then Christmas would be very, very nice indeed. Okay, let's go into the brighter side of the show. Yesterday, someone did mention that you should set up some merch some merchandise and it always has sort of crossed my mind and I did do a little bit of research so Yvonne said good afternoon James I would buy your merch <laughs> I love this short merchandise uh, Mona said I will gladly purchase a Winnie the Pooh's coffee mug well I was thinking because I've got a Mickey Mouse one, and it really is just a coffee cup for me. It's just the right size, and it fits under the cappuccino machine perfectly. Mm. If I do get to 50,000, I will give this in a competition. But that's another thing. So looking into the merchandise, this is something called Spreadshop. Spreadshop is a free and easy to use merchandise platform for on-demand printing, etc. Get free design, blah, blah, blah. You've got to have 50,000 um, plus subs. Well, I'm stuck at 29,100. And so only about 21,000 to go. <laughs> no problem. But if you do want to subscribe, it's quite simple. Just hit the button. Okay, a comment from one of my members, Pacific Pammy. Maybe the levels and the sluice gates has to do with the lack of storms and area bringing in more rain. You crack me up, 
with your ants outside? Well, thank you very much. I really don't know the answer to that, uh, Pammy, but if anyone does, please leave a, a, just leave that in the comment form below. I just can't get my words out today. Maybe I'll do it in a foreign language. Ni hao ma, hao bu hao, no sao si yen. Another message from L. Cole here. About four weeks ago, Channel China Insights said that there's some people in China believe that the Three Gorges Dam creates a microclimate of all the water storage. Storage, rainfall increase, what do you think? It's something I'll look into, but the great thing about these kind of channels is that it's an open forum and as long as it's polite and as long as it's basically polite, leave a comment in the form below. We have all sorts of people, uh, retired engineers, construction, bankers, etc. All uh, subscribe to the channel. So if you do know related to this comment, please uh, help out Mr. Cole and myself here. I'll be most obliged. Right, quite a few comments to get through for today. Hey, I would like to know about the other dams upstream of the Three Gorges. Are they safe and healthy? I just think about the domino effect. If a dam collapses upstream the of the Three Gorges Dam, what do you think? I agree with you there. That, that's, you can see the pictures here. I managed to get off Google, basically, and these what are supposedly the dams or sorry, a picture there of the dams before the Three Gorges. If one goes, there's going to be like a tidal bore that goes down to the next one, which goes down to the next one. So that is going to like flood completely Chongqing near enough. And then the Three Gorges, well, you're going to have definitely the overtopping, which is 34% of dams or the reason that dams collapse. And just to show you another part of the dams in China, this is on the Mekong River, which goes through China, Laos, Thailand, Cambodia, and ending up in Vietnam. And you can see at the very top how many dams there are. There's quite a few. Okay, you thought I didn't or wasn't going to do it. It's time for the award part of the show. Woohoo! Hang in there, James. You're a good product. Consumers will come. So it took me about half an hour. Um, Mr. Krung, if I said that correctly, or um, don't know the gender actually, but to you. It took me about half an hour. What kind of award can I give you? And all I could think of is a shopping kind of award. Well done. Okay, there have been quite a few errors in the show or recording of the show, and I thought I'd like to share it with you. And here are a couple. And a message from one of my members here, um, Pacific Pammy. I think it was your husband's birthday a couple of days ago. It reads like this. Many of the levels on and the sluice gates have taken, sorry, Oh, can we do this again? Let's take two. Okay, the weather looks like this. That the Three Gorges has a tiny pitter-patter of rain. There are some... Oh, let's do it again. Ugh. And that brings us to an end, I'm afraid, as always. God bless to all. Thank you so much. If you want to do the membership, please do so. Patreon, wonderful. But all I'm really looking for is a subscription, notifications, sharing, and the likes. So I can build this channel up to its former glory and making sure all the content is mine, mine, mine. And if anyone tries to touch it, <laughs> I can't say that. <laughs> Be good. Have a great day. Bye-bye. Or squeaky chair is back. Bye.